I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl, and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. Empty and cold. As if I were just... a spark from the fire, flying away and then... gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom. But I want to feel that I'm... alive. Touch me. Well, hmm. there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archeum, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. <sighs> Thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! Go, Come here, Artyom. darling. I'll find you as soon as they finish batching me up. What's that, Papa? Nothing. It's all it? right. You see the face? As if... Looks like... Eight books. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Hey! So? What do I do now? What do I do? So, I don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Yes, I know that. So, were you able to isolate the agent? Yes and no. It is an Ebola virus strain, but trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically non virulent now. Without the original strain. Doctor, you know I'm not mad. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons? My god. Just in case, I have some readers' questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the metro. Here. 
I'm happy to know that you and Anna are all right. We can't afford to waste time being sick now. The dark one we're looking for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. But I have to go. But I have to go back for her insulin. She'll die without it. You'll buy some here. I can't let you go. How can we buy anything when all we had is back there? And Hansa charged you so much. Please. Hansa gave you shelter. Stand back. Shelter to die. I said stand back. So we stay for a little longer. Yes, until reinforcements arrive. Damn, am I glad to see you alive and healthy. Yeah, I'm gonna start shit while we're here. We'll go with you, but there's something else. So what about my luggage? Young man, you've seen what's happening here. They won't even let me go take the insulin. And I can't buy it. Everything we have is at home. Could you help me? Please. Where's your stuff? Thank you. I'm forever in your debt. The refugees sure were lucky, because Tomlin's rangers were here. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be met with machine guns. All the stuff still there. Well, Hansa could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees and the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Hello, Ranger. Look, Sergeant, can't you tell us what's happening there? They don't let us check. Sorry, that's forbidden without a permit. That's our man. Let this one through. He got permit. Kids the day before yesterday. Wife yesterday. I only survived. I think you should stock up on fillings and ammo. You won't have such a chance anytime soon. Come again, Ranger. Hey, Ranger. I want some ammo. Can't eat that much in there. We don't have enough space. Come here, Ranger. Let's have it. Good luck. Hey, some throwing them. Cheap. Come again. Nobody signed any contracts with them. We didn't even promise anything. What were they thinking? Nothing. It's their job. The Polish Rangers were doing stuff like this from the very beginning. What? Fighting the Reds? Nah. If there's an epidemic, dangerous mutants, anything, then Polish sends the Spartans to handle the situation. Artyom, take note of the funds Hansel expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps they are aiming for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at Polis. In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. We've got outgoing! Open up! Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline, and Reich will meet in Polis, hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. <sighs> but I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Come through! Well, we won't catch the train with the Dark One moving along the tunnel. But there is another way. We're leaving the station. Here's our pass. All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the Interline Tunnel for me. But the Interline is a dead end, and very dangerous. A dead end? No way. That's our road to Polis. Open up.
Let's go, Artyom. Careful with the generators! As you see, it's no dead end. That's just what the Hanser authorities claim to discourage people from entering these passages. An unprepared man could easily lose his way here. Or even become lost within himself. But as long as you're with me, there is no danger. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations, a lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the Metro. The few people who come upon it never return. I call it the River of Fate, because it can change your destiny, wash away the silt of the past, and offer the chance for a different future. Careful here. It's an abandoned place. Alright, 
There's something behind these cobwebs. Continue burning it, Artyom. Look, water. We're almost there. Pretty close. Familiar scenery? It's the tower. And down there is the city of the Dark Ones. It's the moment you launch the missiles. Look, that's you. The river will cleanse you, forgive your sins. You can change your fate. You can do it. Choose your destiny and be free. This was their home. All that's left is ashes and dust. Look, there he is. The Dark One. After him.
Nobody. A dead end. Is this where you almost got him? You must try again, Artyom. The Dark One. He's still at that freak show. On the train. The river almost got me this time. Oh, it's working. We're back in the desert of the field. When we got out of the river, the Dark One was very close. We can't have gotten too far ahead. High alert! I repeat, high alert! Red Saboteur sighting confirmed. Your position might be attacked. Sneaky back train is considered their primary target. High alert! Train's got to be nearby. Post 13, come in. High alert, I repeat, high alert. Red Saboteur sighting confirmed. Your position might be attacked. The evac train is considered their primary target. High alert! Come on, move in. We need that miracle now, Artyom. Remember everything I told you about the Dark One. You must save him! And then he just might save us all! I never believed him. And that is no surprise. But Khan's words were true. This strange river took me to the past. The moment where I sent out the signal and destroyed all the Dark Ones. And then it dropped me off at the place where I can find the last survivor in that race. A helpless and harmless child. Khan called him the last angel. 